Let's play a game. Can you guess what one of the most highly searched term is during the holiday months? Cream cheese! Who would have thought? Yeah, cream cheese is one of the most highly searched terms during the holiday months. Now, I don't know what y'all are doing with all this cream cheese, but if you're watching this video and you found yourself at the grocery store with four boxes of cream cheese and you don't know what the heck to do with it, I'm here to help you. Today, we are going to be making a three course cream cheese meal. Ooh, let's play another game. Let's see how many times I can say cream cheese in this single video. We're making a dip, a dish and a dessert. How does that sound? I'm super excited about it. So if you're not excited about it, get out of here. But if you are excited, give this video a big thumbs up before we start. And if you're not already, hit that subscribe button so that you can join the best family ever and be the first to see my recipe videos when they drop. All right, let's put this cream cheese to use. Starting off with our dip, we're gonna do a classic spinach artichoke dip. I feel like this is just a simple, safe recipe that you can make and bring to a party, whip together for your family. Really, I can't think of an occasion where spinach artichoke dip isn't acceptable or welcomed. So we're gonna make it today. It's very easy. We're just gonna combine all of our ingredients into a bowl, starting with some sour cream, mayonnaise, cream cheese, of course, a little bit of minced garlic, some grated Parmesan cheese, mozzarella cheese, and a little bit of pepper. And that's it. Now we're just gonna mix all this up with a spatula. I guess you can do this with an electric mixer, but we need our own workout. Now we're going to add a can of artichoke hearts. I drained these and chopped them up. And then six ounces of frozen spinach that's been thawed and drained. And we'll mix all that together. Now we're gonna spray a little baking dish. This one's about a quart size, but really whatever you have will do. And transfer our dip into our dish. A dip, a dish, a dessert. All made with cream cheese, of course. All right, we can get her in there. Kind of spread it out a little bit. Oh, this was the perfect size. Now this is gonna go in the oven at 350 for 20 minutes. 20 minutes later. All right, our dip is done. Now, you can choose whatever kind of dipper you want. You can use those little baguette chips. You could do crackers like I'm doing. You could use bread. Really doesn't matter. It's just a vehicle. I'm so excited to try this. It's probably gonna be really hot. Mm. Yes, it's amazing. Wow. The older and older I get, I become more of a dip fan. I love dips. And this dip is so tasty. Wow. The cream cheese makes it so creamy. <laughs> Go figure. <laughs> mm. For our entree, we're gonna be making a soup. This is like a creamy chicken corn soup. I don't really have a name for it. If you have a great name suggestion, feel free to drop it in the comments below. Cream cheese, chicken corn soup, cream cheese, chicken soup, chicken soup, cream cheese. Not sure, we're making soup. We're gonna need a large soup pot on our stove top. Turn our heat on, and we're just gonna melt about two tablespoons of butter down on the bottom. There is nothing more cozy than making soup during the fall. I don't make soup very often, but like fall just puts me in such a soup mood. So you'll definitely have to try this recipe. Let me know down below if you like soup too and what some of your favorite soups are because I want to start experimenting with different recipes. Once our butter is melted, we are going to add in some chopped onions and diced red pepper. And we're gonna saute these up until they're nice and soft. Making soup makes me feel so domesticated. I don't know why, but I feel like such a mom right now. <laughs> Does making soup make any of y'all feel like a wife or a mom or something? Oh, we're just missing a few key components, but we can pretend. Once our veggies are nice and soft, we're gonna add four ounces of cream cheese, which is about half of the block of cream cheese. And we're gonna turn our heat down to low so that we don't burn our cream cheese, but we're gonna let this melt down into our veggies. Now we're gonna add in two cups of cooked and shredded chicken, two cups of chicken broth, one can of cream style corn, and three fourths cup of milk. And then we're just gonna season it with a little bit of pepper and stir all that together. Oh, this smells so good. And it's so easy too. Now you're just gonna stir and cook this for about five minutes until it's heated all the way through and you're all done. All right, this looks so good and it smells delicious. It's also very hot. Can you see that steam coming off of the pole? 
I'm excited to taste it, but it's gonna take a second for it to cool down. Oh my gosh, it'll blow on it. I'm gonna burn my tongue. I'm so nervous. <laughs> okay, I'm going for it. Mm. Yummy. This is cozy in a bowl, straight up, wow. And I can't believe how easy that was to make too. That's so delicious. Finally for dessert, we are going to make a cream cheese frosting. This is a staple in households during the holiday season because it's so versatile. Whether you're doing cupcakes, bread, a cake, you can use it as a dip on cinnamon rolls. There truly is so many uses for cream cheese frosting and so it's good to have just a good trusty recipe you know you can count on. In the bowl of a stand mixer or using a hand mixer, you're gonna mix eight ounces of cream cheese, a splash of vanilla, we are going to use our whisk attachment for this and start whipping that up. Now, once that's fluffy, we are going to add in half a cup of powdered sugar. Most cream cheese frosting recipes are a combination of powdered sugar, cream cheese, vanilla. So depending on the consistency that you want, if you want it thicker, you can add more powdered sugar. And if you want it thinner, you can add a little bit of milk. But this looks perfect for what we're using it for today. Mm. Yes, this is a winner. Now I've already got a dessert for this frosting. Last night I made this carrot cake bread and y'all, I'm so excited about it. Look how beautiful that is. I should put that on a nice plate. Be professional, Nicole. But like I said, you can put cream cheese frosting on whatever you want. I'll put the link to the website where I found this carrot cake bread down in the description box below if you wanna make it too. But now it's just super easy. You take your frosting. There is something so satisfying about frosting desserts. I don't know about you, but I love it. Voila. Oh, she's pretty. All right, let's see what we got. Wow. Holy moly, can you see that? Here, I'll show the I'll show the above camera. All right, let's see how it goes with the bread. Oh. <coughs> help! <laughs> I just inhaled it. Yo! <laughs> oh my gosh! You guys almost witnessed me dying on camera. I was almost caught on film. <gasps> Could you imagine the death of Nicole the Nomad? Dies by carrot cake. Wow. I saw my life flash before my eyes. On a positive note, this is lovely. This is really great. I'm so glad I didn't die just then. Holy moly, are we okay? Are y'all good? <laughs> I'm good. I'm okay. This is amazing. I really do love a good cream cheese frosting. So versatile. There you have it, a dip, a dish, and a dessert, all using cream cheese. Let me know down in the comments below which of these recipes you are most excited to make. Once again, all of these recipes are always linked down in the description box below if you wanna make them at home. But hey, did you count how many times I said cream cheese? The total was... Amazing. Comment down below any other recipes you could think of that use cream cheese. Maybe we'll do some more next time. But hey, thank you so much for tuning in this week. If you liked this video, please give it a big thumbs up. It really means a lot to me. And if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button and join the best family ever. We need you. Hope you have a great weekend. We'll see you next time. Bye.